everyone, today I'm painting Tau from Arcadia Quest Inferno. I'll start by showing you the paints that I've used in this tutorial and you'll be able to find a list of them in the description below along with some affiliate links to Element Games. They're where I buy most of my paints from, they're cheap and very reliable and buying from them will help support this channel. Without further ado, let's start this tutorial with priming the models. So first of all, take a scrap of card and I'm blue tacking them to it. Um, this stops the spray sort of moving them and also it's really windy where I live so they get blown over all the time and then I'm going to use a primer by the army painter which is a colour primer in Barbarian Flesh which will just save me painting their skin colour in so I'll do a few light strokes back and forth and then once I'm finished make sure you turn the can upside down and spray until no more colour comes out then we'll move on to the base coating and I start with the brain matter beige which is my white and I'm going to fill in his pupils, sorry not his pupils, his eyeballs to begin with as, along with his um, cummerband, cummerbund and his waist or his belt or his sash, maybe it's a sash, probably go with sash so colour that in as well. Uh, his boots are also white according to the picture that comes with the character so get both of his legs uh, not being too careful there because there's I'm going to be painting the rest of it anyway uh, I was very careful around the belt area to make sure I didn't get any on his torso um, which is obviously already sprayed in the colour I I want it to finish in the white's quite thin so I'm applying multiple coats and building it up next I choose my prison jumpsuit which is my orange quite a bright orange um, I'm going to be toning it down with the shader anyway, so starting quite bright and colouring his pants in with this, or his trousers if you're from the UK. Fiddly again, but again you don't need to be too careful other than around the boots, which obviously we've just painted, so you can get plenty on his uh, skirt if you need to. Uh, speaking of his skirt, I'm picking my nearly my brightest blue, the Magic Blue by Valio. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, I guess, my middle blue. I'm going to darken it down as always with the shader and then lighten it up to my lightest blue. Uh, all, for, for all of this so far, I've been using the Regiment brush, which is Army Painters, and I use that for nearly everything if I can. If I can. Uh, bright Gold again by the Army Painter. I'm going to be painting all of his gold uh, jewellery, so his necklace, his bracelets, uh, his stomach shield i don't know what even that is so oh, somebody can tell me what that is in the comments this week you guys are slowly educating me uh, parasite brown for his nipples the usual color i've switched down to my detail brush for that and gory red to do this little uh, three dots on his head somebody can tell me what they're called as well I'm sure that's some sort of martial art religious sort of thing uh, my lighting's changed so apologize for that Using my darkest brown here for his um, for the base coat of his eyebrows and his hair. For his eyebrows, I'm using my detail brush as well here because it's pretty fiddly and I didn't want to get too much on his head as you saw just there. I just wiped it off quickly and still on the detail brush, just doing the bit around his scalp, just carefully building that up, trying to paint each individual strand of hair so it looks as realistic as possible. And then I switch out to the the regiment brush again to quickly colour in his ponytail. Being pretty careful here because obviously his shoulders and his head uh, are already painted the colour I want them to be so trying very carefully not to get any on the skin. There you go and that's it for the base coat so we're going to go straight on to the to the shading now and as requested by the well not requested as I got told off by the killing bean for, for not showing how I did the, the black around his eyes. I'm going to do it here for you so you can watch it here. Uh, I won't even speed it up so you can see it, see it all. And So I'm taking my black shader and I'm just with my regiment brush really, really, really carefully uh, applying it to the, to the eyeball and letting it seep from, from the eyeball to the, to the sort of the socket, the the outside as you can see there. I'm also letting it go into the pupil because that's quite an easy way of painting the pupil as well. I uh, just get a tiny bit on the, the regiment brush and just carefully putting it in so onto his eye and let it run off his eye 
around the edges. There you go, you can see there he's got the black outline of his eye. And then I'm going to carry on with the survivor shader, the black one. And as normal, I'm going to do my metallics. I think that gives a really good, good effect of it being sort of tarnished. Uh, so I'm shading all of the gold here with the black shader. I'm going to use the black shader for his hair as well because it's it's my darkest brown anyway. So I felt like I may as well use black to try and show any sort of definition in it. I'm just adding a second coat there to his to his eyes and his uh, the, the metal. I've grabbed my blue tone, um, it's army painters as well, um, and I'm going to use the blue tone on his um, skirt. Just get that in all the crevices just make sure it looks all shaded where the light wouldn't be falling on it as much as the rest plenty of ink there and then I'm going to switch out to my jump suit shader which is a, a ready yeah I guess it's a red not even slightly orange just red and I'm going to be doing his trousers the shading on his trousers with that and finally the zombie shader which is my the lighter of my brown shaders which I use for all my Arcadia quest um, skin basically uh, i think it gives a little tanned look which I can, I can then work with and highlight up afterwards so i'm applying that i'm being a little more accurate than normal here and just trying to get uh, a, a layer in all the crevices i'm on his, on his torso at least i'm not trying to just spread it all over everywhere i'm just trying to see if i can spend less time highlighting if i don't shade it as as much as i normally do and now I'm going to do the base with Mournfang Brown. This is Citadel's paint, as always, for my Arcadia Quest models. I'll just apply this quickly, being careful around the feet and under the skirt. That's They're the two difficult bits. The rest is fairly easy. And I love going around the outside because that's easy mode. As you can see, all done. Okay, so I'm going to start the highlighting now. So going back to my jumpsuit orange. And I'm going to highlight up all the raised parts of his trousers, his pants, and just less on this leg because it's covered by the skirt. Back to magic blue as well, which is the same as I did the base coat in. And I'm just going to paint up all the raised parts of the skirt, just any where any of the ink just caught it, and I only want it in the crevices. The highlight of bright gold again, I'm just doing with bright gold. So get his earrings, his necklace. Uh, there'll be his bracelets as well. Um, that torso bit that I missed, his skirt bit as well, he's got lots of gold on him, he's fancy this little character, he's got more money than me, and then brain matter beige, so this is the white, so I'm just going to colour in his eyeballs now, so for any, anywhere where the shade are caught other than the edges, I'm also going to highlight up his boots, just get the edges so they're bright white again, I uh, use the survivor shader on his boots just a, a light layer just to make them go slightly gray catching his sash as well make that look more realistic parasite brown back to his nipples oh it's not his nipples apologize uh, you will want to do his nipples as well though just just highlight the edges um, I'm using my dry brush it's an army painter small dry brush this one and i'm just applying a ever so slight amount of the parasite brown to his hair to highlight that up Survivor skin for highlighting up, highlighting back up his skin. I'm applying this to all the areas that would get get light. Basically, each individual bit of muscle there. I do seem to keep painting muscly men. I think it's just uh, <laughs> it's quite it feels quite quick and easy to do when you only have to get one colour out. Uh, brain matter beige again. So I'm going to be mixing that now with the the survivor skin to create a very very light skin effect just to just to add the final highlight on all the very edges of his skin so his, his cheeks his ears his nose his fingers and then a little bit on each individual muscle part here his elbows his shoulders that sort of thing and his forehead where the light would be reflecting off it and finally the final color sorry on the, the blue which is my electric blue this is my brightest blue I'm just going to do the very edges of his skirt there and I'm down to the detail brush just in case you didn't notice that make sure I only get a fine amount on so I'm going to choose the golden yellow to do the final highlight on his trousers 
just the very tips there. And as always, I'm going to use my Agrilin Earth, the Citadel Technical Paint, to, to finish the base and apply this as thickly as you can. The thicker you do it, the, it's the bigger the cracks are and the more impressive I sort of think the base looks. So if you can if you can apply it very, very thickly, I do think it looks better. And voila, there you go. That's what it looks like. So that's towel complete. Um, very, very happy with his trousers there and his skirt. Uh, the skin's pretty good. I think I could still be improving on the skin. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe. It lets me know um, you guys want me to keep making these things. Thanks for watching.